folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Tech It 2 Let's Play Adventure, where we just wrapped up. Well, I mean, not at this exact moment, a couple days ago now, but we did complete our Tech It 2 replay live stream, which went pretty well, I gotta say. Not too many issues. I thought I was gonna lose power at one point, but I didn't, and the stream went all the way through, start to finish, without issue, which I'm incredibly grateful for feeling very blessed today and thank you to everyone who tuned in to lucas kits for sticking it out i think the longest out of everyone at one point lucas kits was watching two different streams because i was streaming some uh, final fantasy 16 to the channel members who actually finished that game that was a lot of fun and that was happening concurrently and he had them both open like a madman he's crazy it's appreciated though it's very much appreciated and I hope that all of you folks enjoyed the Tech It 2 stream. Uh, we might be doing an encore on the Howdy Folks Gaming channel since I already have everything set up for it. And I think there's still a lot of people who don't know that this channel exists. I still get comments on this channel from folks from the Howdy Folks Gaming channel saying, I didn't know you still did Let's Plays. I didn't, I've never heard of this channel. And it's like, ah, yeah, well, I, maybe I need to make that a little bit more clear to folks. <laughs> so we might be doing an encore over there. But today... You know what, folks? We need to start working on clearing out a lot of the mess down here. We no longer need this wall. This wall no longer needs to exist because we're manu- Well, I mean, I guess tell you what, we are still manufacturing all of our redstone and all of our cold blocks here. But we can get rid of this and this, and then this was never anything, was it? No, well, I mean, it was kind of something, but it was a, a useless something is what it was. So we can get rid of all those. We still need to move the uh, production of redstone and coal blocks up there somewhere. And then we need to move all the things in that wall also up there somewhere. Uh, that's all something we can deal with here in a moment. But then I don't know what we're going to do with all of these. We might move all manufacturing except for final assembly up there. And then, of course, we have the issue of we need to actually run all of the cables and all of the pipes and everything up here, which means that I need to actually go ahead and build the wart on the side of this thing. The growth, if you will, the... The building tumor that's going to house all of the, the pipe transportation up and down and all of that. That's something I need to get around to here eventually. But today, we're not doing any of that. <laughs> all of that just to say we're not doing any of it because there's some other issues I want to address first. And that is, what happens when these fill up? I mean, it's going to be a while before any of them fill up, if ever. When you consider how much these can store, it's probably never going to happen. But it is something to take into consideration, because while it may never happen there, I mean, you have something like, like, let's say glass, you know, over here we have something that's manufacturing glass, glass is one EMC per tick, that's feasible, that could happen, I don't even know if we're going to be able to extract glass fast enough with those uh, the pipes, it'll be an experiment, we'll have to find out, uh, but what happens when, when we can't, when we can't, when, what happens when we run out of space is what I'm trying to get at here, I've got a solution for that, I also have a solution for our uh, logistics pipes. Remember, we tried to use the, let's see, I think it's right over here, the supplier, the provider pipe, one of these two. And what we found was that while it worked for summoning items, it didn't work for extracting items quickly the way we needed to. Well, I had a revelation. We don't have to use the provider logistics pipe. They make a provider module that can be placed inside of the logistics chassis mk3 which as some of you may recall already has a free spot open yes it does have three spots two of which are taken up with quicksort modules one of which is empty so we just add that in there and i think that'll work the way i want it to and if that's the case that's the way we're going to do things moving forward maybe not always with an mk chassis number three we could do it with a two but having your your provider module added in there so that we can not just extract items for crafting but summon them at a moment's notice why is this still here? I thought I got rid of this. I still need to fill in these windows. There's a lot to do. It's like in every construction project, after, you know, you get down to the end, but you're not actually at the end because you realize, okay, yeah, there's a building in place, but the electrician's still not come to do it. He's, he's come by three times now, the electrician. He came by once to just see what we wanted. He came by a second time because he wanted to measure things. He came by a third time because he just wanted to check a couple of extra things. He said, I'll come back tomorrow. But when he comes back tomorrow, he's not going to have what he needs. He's just checking to see what he needs. It's going to take the, it's going to take at least three months to actually get the electrical ran. When he does it, it'll take him two hours. In and out. It'll be nice, quick, and easy. It'll be grumpy the whole time. Gosh darn it, he's got to come by 48 times. The truth is, he's just forgetting, God bless him. 
So, uh, you know, it's like that, and then the installation's not... And it's the same at the end of every construction project. You kind of get the bones installed, you get the skin on it, and you're like, well, we'll get to the organs eventually. That's a weird way of describing constructing a building. But here we are, and there's no coming back from it. We've, like, locked in on this analogy. Uh, for the pipes, what I was looking at is a couple of different things. One, we do have the void transport pipe. This is handy, because any item that passes through here will automatically be... What is this? Oh, crafting module, right. Any item that passes through here will immediately be deleted, sent to the void. It no longer exists, which is an option for deleting things. However, there is, an, there is another. The closed transport pipe, instead of dropping items, stores items in its internal inventory. Once the inventory is full, though, it will void them. So... This is an option for dealing with excess as well. Look, it even uses a void pipe. So I figured that's that's two things we might do today. We would try to build that there uh, module and see if it works the way that I'm thinking it's going to work. And then also we'll go ahead and build that. Oh, okay. There's more crabs down there now than there's ever been. There's, there, oh my gosh, there's so many, there's so many crabs. It's, it's out of control. I don't even go down there anymore because there's just, there's too many crabs and they're, they're getting all over the place and they kind of scare me a little bit. What do we need to build? We need to build a void pipe first, which is going to be a piece of glass, an ink sack, and a redstone. So I suppose we'll start there with our ink sack, our redstone. Oh, that's that. You gotta have this thing selected before you start typing as well as our glass, and then to further evolve that into the ad advanced, the, the, uh, the closed, uh, the additional, the... Uh, I did not sleep long enough last night. What we need is an iron gear. Fortunately, I have a ton of stone gears, and then getting iron is as easy as properly typing the word iron into here, and then selecting four of them. See, it's that simple. It really is. So we're going to place this here, surround it with these, iron gear and then i wonder if this is shapeless i'm assuming no i'm assuming it has to be done correctly yeah that'll get us eight void pipes although remember we only need one closed transport pipe at least for right now at least for experimentation the one thing i'm unsure about with this is whether or not we need to place it sort of in line with the other pipes like do the items need to pass through it or does it need to be sort of at the end I think, I, you know what, I tell you what, we've got so many uh, ingots being manufactured over here, I don't really care if we lose a few while experimenting. So, I suppose we'll stick it here. And here come the pipes. There we go. Oh, shoot, hold on. Yeah, no, that's going to cause all kinds of problems. There we go. So, they are passing through just fine. And there's none being stored inside. And the, the help is completely useless. So my understanding is, once this is full, this will just start holding the items until all of these slots are full. And then, and only then, it'll start deleting items. Now, this is a terrible way to test because we're going to be standing here for probably real life years waiting on that to fill up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get an oak chest. I'm going to break this. Oh, I mean, well, there we go. First off, that's going to fill that up pretty quickly. I guess we could just wait for that to happen, couldn't we? And in fact, what we could do is we could we could place this back down. We could speed this whole process up a little bit by grabbing like a few stacks and just tossing them in there. And any second now, it'll be full. And it's deleting them. Awesome. Okay, so it works. And then as soon as we put this back, it will open that pipe up and start transferring them back out. Now, of course, it's not going to transfer them out uh, of the, the storage area for obvious reasons because there's nothing extracting them from there but yeah that's perfect that'll be ideal so what i have to do now is build a bunch of these and replace all of these gold pipes right at the end with these pipes and that'll work swimmingly did we lose some up there yeah i thought we would the reason we're doing this is so if i'm not paying attention and one of these things starts to overflow instead of spewing billions and billions of pieces of like let's say glass or or furnaces onto the ground i'm trying to think specifically items with lower emc values that could actually conceivably fill one of these black hole units up instead of it spewing all over the ground and it's bringing the world to a a crawl you know a three fps crawl while i try to make my way over here to fix it and they'll just get voided i would prefer that if this is full 
I don't care if we start losing excess items. Because at that point, we don't need that many items. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're fine. Uh, might as well let that happen. So that's great. That is the closed transport pipe. And I'm pleased with it. Let's go ahead and make some more. So we need, right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one has one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. I, I guess I could have done seven times two. Uh, and then minus, yeah, okay. Well... Look, best laid plans of mice and morons, am I right? So far, swapping these out has been really, really easy. You just break it, place it down, right-click this twice, you get in a good rhythm. One thing that has been happening, though, and it's kind of unavoidable, not just spillage into my inventory, but a little bit of spillage up above. Okay, then, all right, let's not freak out. Okay, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I assumed there would be a ton of ingots up here for me to achieve, or re retrieve, even. I'm not trying to achieve anything. I'm, I've got no goals I'm trying to fulfill. I just want to keep things clean and tidy. There we are. I think all of these have an EMC value. Nope, nope, of course not. There are three that don't. That's why they have to have furnaces. Uh, naturally, I knew that already. Uh, one thing that we can do, though, is we can just walk around and manually re put them back where they go. That's not even something I need to say. You would already know that. You know that to be true. I, it's not even worth commenting on. That's, that's just a regular old bog standard fact. All right, there we go. So these are all now prepared to never overflow, which is wonderful. That is a load off my mind. It is a weight off my shoulders. It is a small sore off my lower back. You know the kind I'm talking about. Like when you're in the car for 16 hours and you finally arrive at your destination and you get out and you go to bed and you wake up the next morning you're like I can't wait to go to Disney World and then you realize there's like this weird knot on your back and oh it hurts really bad it's from sitting for 16 hours in a car and it, un uncomfortable seats and the, the, your shirt and there's friction and oh it's the worst but it's not ready to pop yet until it pops it's not going to stop hurting but it's not ready yet you're going to have to wait it's going to like every time you sit down you just it's like ow it's, oh, it's the Road trips. Road trips are fun, though. Like, even in spite of that, you still had a good time. You, you got your picture taken with Mickey Mouse. It was all a good time. Next up, we're going to build. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and try building the provider module, which just requires the pro provider module. Okay, so it's different. It is actually different, I think. That's the provider logistics pipe. We specifically need one for the module, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll go ahead and get a fresh logistics programmer. We will toss that in here, and then I've got to scroll through and see if I can find the, the gosh darn thing that we're looking for here. Oh, there it is. I must have just zoomed past it. So first we compile it, and then we flash it. I'm going to have this process memorized by the end of this series. Now, when does this series end? As soon as I have this process memorized, that could be next week. It could be in 2045. We'll just have to, gosh darn, wait and see, I suppose. We got everything we need for that bad boy? Give me just one for now. Let me go make sure this is going to work the way that I want this to work. Not even the way that I think it works. <laughs> let, me, let me just verify the way the way I... The, even I've been forgotten. I had been made a long time ago. I don't know why that's the song I go to anytime I start like just stuttering up a storm. So, we have our two quicksort modules, and those will continue to work as quicksort modules. We have the provider module, which by default should just work exactly the way you would want it to. So, we do have our whole thing still set up down there. Everything's still set up exactly the way it was. So, presumably, if I can locate the wireless orderer, which should be somewhere inside of here, right in front of me. In fact, the likelihood that I'm staring directly at it is pretty high right now. It's, it's, it's entirely possible that it's just not in here. But I feel like it probably is, and I just don't see it. Remote orderer. Can I just double-click this and type in remote? Okay, what is that? That is a remote ordering logistics pipe. Okay, maybe it's not called the remote orderer. Maybe it's called, like, the or order? See, uh, it is definitely called the remote orderer. Where is it? Why have I lost it? Why have I misplaced the remote order? Get rid of these transport pipes. Why do I still have this in my inventory? Get rid of that. I don't need that. Where's th Where did I put it? Where is it gone? It's not inside of here. There's diamonds inside of there. We should probably get those out, though. That's going to mess up the experiment. What about the... What about the bag? There's the... Wait! 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 It's right there! Wait! What? Wait, 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 hold on! What? Are you kidding me? I type in remote. It doesn't... Sh get out of there. Unbelievable. Absolutely. It's unacceptable is what it is. Okay. 
So, theoretically... Hey, look at that! It's exactly how it works! That's wonderful! So just to clarify, because I've done a terrible job of explaining what we've done here so far, we wanted... I, I need... I gotta, I gotta take a nap. Don't stay up till 2 in the morning fidgeting with computers trying to get them to work properly. You're not going to figure it out at 2 in the morning. You're going to wake up the next day and at 9 a.m. do one thing and it's going to work perfectly. And you're going to question why you didn't just go to sleep and try it with a fresh mind. And then you're going to try to record Minecraft. And it's going to be like this. And that's not good, so don't do it. This is my advice to you from your grandpa, okay? Logistics Chassis MK3. This is a special boy. It has three upgrade slots, which is handy because in order to keep up with things in the past, we've needed two quicksort modules, but we've always had a space free. Now, in the past, we tried to replace this with a provider logistics pipe, which would allow us to use the remote orderer, all set up in a previous video. Refer to that previous video for more information. And yes. The issue there is that then we don't have the logistics chassis MK3 to extract things to other objects that have like item sinks, which is what we need. Uh, so you could use two pipes or you can just use the module, which does the exact same thing as the dedicated pipe, but fits into your chassis here and allows you to use both on a single connection. How was that? I got through it. Did everyone understand that? Was everything good? You see what we've accomplished here now is, is something that we can carry on up here. We can hook up to each of these, and I don't think we'll need... We might. I was going to say, we might not need MK3s on these, but we might actually need MK3s on these if we still need double the quick sword. Or, um, I'm, I'm unsure. It's probably also possible for us to use provider modules in conjunction with the supplier, or maybe the request, I, I can't remember... A supplier module sounds right. Automatically fills a Chester machine, can get items from any item source, ignores providers on the same network. See, so what we could probably do is get a bunch of these suppliers. I don't know what ignores providers on the same block means, but we could probably get a bunch of these suppliers and use them in place of the item sinks and everything. And then we wouldn't need the MK chassis. We'd be able to get everything working with just the providers and suppliers. But you know what, let's not rock the boat. We've got a good system that's working the way it's working, and I see no reason to try to change it now. So that's going to be what we do next. We're going to hook all of these up with MK3 chassis. I've, just, I've made that decision. That's what we're doing. So here's what I did. I went ahead and made 14 MK3s, but I already had 14 quicksort modules, and I decided to not double them up right at the beginning because we might not need two of them on each of these. But Again, the idea is going to be that each of these will be loaded out exactly the same, and it might be easier to place them first and then go back through and put the items in afterward. By which I mean that'll be faster. Instead of constantly pausing in between each placement, I can just do it like this, and then we will have a provider and a quick sort. Provider and a quick sort. Provider and a quick sort. You get the idea. And that'll be the last of them. And then if we need to there's still space to add an additional quick sort. Some of them might need an additional one, some of them might not. This way we are prepared in any I don't know why I am the way that I am. 64 on routed transportation pipes. I honestly should have slept longer. All right, now we'll connect them all together even though there's literally no reason to do that because there is nowhere for these pipes to go and there will not be any place for these pipes to go up and until I build the large wart out of the side of the building, which is what I've got scheduled the next to do. Sometimes I think about the fact that, you know, they say, hey, any video you make could be someone's first video. So you've got to put, you know, an equal amount of effort and attention to detail and, and dedication into everything you make because you you never want to make a, a stinker and then that be someone's very first video they watch and that's their impression of you until they die and then you know I make a video like this where I am sleep deprived and, and feel like I need a nap and it's a stinker it's a stinker I hate this I hate I hate the I hate what's happening right here and in fact I hate it so much that I think I'm gonna do this instead oh no I don't want that does that oh no that First off, that works. That is surprising. That I don't know what to do with. I don't know how to feel about this at all. I know that I don't want that to ever happen again, though. That's the one thing I am sure of. I don't know where that object is going. Come back here, you. Get out of there. I never I never want that to be a thing that happens again. That was, that was shocking. 
That was surprising. I'm conflicted about it. I genuinely, I don't know what to think about what I just witnessed. I don't think you do either. Don't pretend otherwise. Okay, that's fine then, what's happening here. We're just going to live with that. That's just going to be the way that it is, and that's okay. Uh, I'm assuming I could probably put some plugs over here, and it would prevent that from happening, and then we could have it go at a nice sharp angle. And in fact, why not go ahead and just do that? It's not even a matter of theorizing. I know that'll be the case. I've never done it before, but it's like... You, you know certain things, right? Like, I've never dipped my head into a bowl of Coca-Cola and tried to breathe. But I already know without trying that that it wouldn't work, that I would start to drown. Why do I know that? Because I know how fluid and lungs work. I don't need to have experimented with trying to breathe Coca-Cola to know that it is not going to work and is a bad idea. What is happening here? There we go. That was very odd, wasn't it? Now, for some reason, it's doing this, and I hate this, just visually. Look, why why are they red? They, they shouldn't be trying to connect. This is not what I anticipated. I was correct when I said they wouldn't connect, but this, though. Why this, though? I'm furious. I'm actually angry. That means we're kind of stuck doing this nonsense. And also, can I get those pipe plugs back off of there? Kind of doesn't look like it. Can I, like, very gently... Oh, you son of a gun. That's it. If I don't want them on there, I just have to manually break them and then try to rush to put everything back together before stuff goes spewing out all over the place. <sighs> we'll deal We'll deal with this. This will just be the way that it is. I'm going to accept it. I keep saying that that'll be the way that it is, and it's fine, but I'm finally going to actually accept it. All right, folks. Well, it might seem like not much has happened here today, but my concern is that if I keep going, it's only going to get worse. So I think I probably need to stop now while I'm ahead. And I'm not ahead. I'm behind, but I'm only going to get further behind. I'm going to get lapped if I don't go ahead and stop now. So let's just do a quick recap of what we've learned here today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his Oh, I'm reverting to Veggie Tales. It's never a good sign when you revert to Veggie Tales. Here's the situation. We have learned that by combining the module, the provider module, you can use both your quick syncs and your summonings, and that's fantastic. That'll work. That'll be great. We've learned that. We've learned that we can use the closed transport pipes to prevent items from... You know, if the black hole units fill up, they'll get spewed all over the floor and bring the game down to a crawl and then eventually crash, and we don't want that. So we fixed that as well. And we've also learned that plugs don't work. I mean, they do keep the unrouted transport pipes from connecting, but gosh darn it, they still really want to connect for some arbitrary reason. That's it. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.